So, welcome back. I hair's super messy today. I'm just not fixing it, so. I am gonna be talking about the best lipstick and lip colors for olive skin. From the most neutral through some pinks, berry tones, all the way to the reds at the end. Before I get started, just a couple of quick tips about finding the right color for an olive skin tone. Cool toned lipsticks can be very difficult. The exception being there are some cool toned reds that work really nicely on olive skin tone. Talking about the color, if you can find any of these words in it, there's a really good chance it's going to work on your olive skin tone, and that is burnt, brick, mauve, uh, any berry tones tend to work really well, um, and things that are kind of like metallic or wood. So thinking of like sandalwood, sienna, copper, things like that. Disclaimer, whatever color you like on yourself, that's what works on you. It's whatever you enjoy. Like I pretty much use one lip liner for all these lip colors, even the darker ones and the red, red shades. So if I am using a lip liner, I like to use the MAC Lip Pencil Liner in Whirl. Um, there's one other color that's a, a really good neutral color. Um, I have three options for the nudes and the kind of my lips are better. I'm going to start with the drugstore option. I did talk about this one in the last video. This is the Lori... This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Cream Finish Lipstick in the shade Mink. And it's just this nice, really tawny kind of brown. It's a cream finish, but it's not super pigmented. Slightly darker than my natural lip tone, it does give a brown, almost like 90s supermodel type color. It's not the longest lasting. You may need to apply a couple times during the day, but because it's not super pigmented, I actually don't mind reapplying. So, next. The next one is a very, very similar color. I'll show you swatch together. Um, and this is Marc Jacobs' The La Marc Lip Cream in J'adore. So I think the Marc Jacobs that's right here is slightly warmer. So this is definitely a warmer color and it looks more pigmented. It looks more like you're wearing a lipstick. It has a slightly more matte finish than the Revlon Super Lustrous which has a little bit more of that shiny cream finish. It doubles really well as a blush. I'm actually wearing it as a blush on my face right now. This next one is one of my absolute favorites, um, and this is one of my favorite lipstick lines. This is the Chanel Rouge Allure. It's more of a splurge lipstick. It's in that $30 to $40 range um, versus the Revlons. You can get like under $10. The Rouge Allure, is, I absolutely love, and this one is one that I will invest in. Um, and this is in the color Rouge Angelique, which is number 174. This one is almost a perfect match. Let's see if I'm lying about that. It's almost a perfect match. It's a little bit warmer and peachier. Most peachy lipsticks on olive skin does not work if it's light. It washes my lips out or it looks like I'm wearing almost like white or beige. It's way, way too light. And these are the fruity kind of berry colors that are in my collection. So the first thing that I'm going to start with is the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm. This is in the shade Bubble. On their website, they describe it as a sheer, neutral rose with a subtle gold shimmer. It actually gives like a pop of color to your lips, but it's definitely super sheer. Texts and glosses that are pink. I like to go super warm looking. Um, I also like to wear this Rouge Coco gloss in just shade 748 from Chanel. The sh I like to pick sheer products that look aggressive in the tube. So these will actually just come out really nice and pinky. So these are kind of like the berry glosses that I love. The Kush Lip Balm for every day. It gives enough of a pop of color and it actually looks like a really nice sheer red um, if I take the time to build it up. I'm actually going to layer on top of it this Rouge Coco Gloss. I absolutely love this lip gloss for layering over other colors. It's my favorite go-to summer vacation beach kind of dressing up but you don't want your makeup to melt off your face. These are pretty similar for me. So you have the cheaper option which is like mid-tier. It's like $16 for this one. 
I think uh, the lip gloss will get you in like the $30 range. On to the more satin berry colors. I have two lipsticks from the MAC Satin Lipstick Collection. I do love my MAC Satin Lipstick, however, this is one collection that the quality of the lipstick really depends on the color. I have found some colors from this collection that I put them on, I love them, and then they just kind of like crack. They're way too drying on my lips. So the first one, this is just a gorgeous color on all of skin tones. So this is Twig. It is a warm, medium toned mauve. So a really nice fun berry tone that if you just want to like spice up your face a little bit I mean you get that depth of a little of that like purple violet shade because like purple and yellow are opposite on the color wheel I think anything with a little bit of a mauve or a purple or a plum really brings out the golden points um, of an olive skin tone so I'm it's weird but I think that one looks like Pocahontas -y. The next one from the MAC Satin Collection is Amorous. This is kind of similar to Twig. It is a deeper color. It's slightly more cool toned. Um, and it's more of like a plum. Like, a little bit deeper than Twig, which I just had on. This is the coolest toned um, color in my collection. Yeah, I think this is the coolest toned color. It is slightly cool toned and it's a deep plum. Twig is a really great one for spring and summer months. And then Amorous is just a deeper shade that would look gorgeous uh, winter or fall. So it gives you a little more of that purple, that added depth. And if you want more drama, I would definitely go with Amorous. I really like just doing this with a dark brow, a little bit of a brown eyeliner. Um, it's kind of like that Spanish look to it. I think like Dolce & Gabbana does in a lot of their runways with like a deep red. Amorous is kind of like a purple version of that. Okay, so the next color I have that's kind of in this pinky shade is this Burnt Brick Color by Jason Wu. This is Gingerbread. This is a pink that can work on olive skin tone. It's got to be this warm. This is super soft. I don't like most matte lip products. This goes on like shea butter. It keeps my lips hydrated, which I cannot say for a lot of matte lip products. It's almost orangey as I'm taking it off. Next are the reds, and I have one that's kind of in between. It's like, this is my orange. This is a matte, MAC, matte lipstick. Products that I like, this is the color Marrakesh. I used this when I did the Queen's Gambit makeup tutorial. A medium, warm, dark copper. I actually like to blend it out this way. Almost like a terracotta color. I'd definitely wear this with a lip liner if it was really wearing it. But the orange really complements the green undertone in my skin nicely. That sounds so weird and it would sound like the opposite of what you would want to do with olive skin tone but I love this look. I can even wear this as a muted red so if I wanted to go for more of a vintage kind of look. Another thing with lipstick, mix it up, like mix up some colors because one, then you can have more colors so you don't have to buy them all. And you can change the texture, the depth, the tone of the color and find something that really works for you. So I'm actually going to layer, see what happens when I put mink on top of this. And this I think makes it a little bit less aggressive. Um, with the brown this becomes much more of something I could wear with a deeper eye. I'm going to show you some pretty true reds. I also love burgundies, but my favorite burgundy color is MAC Rocker. That is no longer sellable, so I don't want to like show it to you. I have to find a new one. So I'm going to show you my two true reds. First one I'm going to start with is more of a red that's daytime friendly. This is the shade Hot Tamale. And this is such a good, like, fun summer fiesta red. If this were real life, I would absolutely be wearing this with a lip liner. Also, here's a tip. If you're wearing lipstick, once you put it on and you don't want uh, it to get on your teeth, you just take one finger. Lipstick 
comes off. But this is a very good, I would say, beachy, daytime red. I think it looks great with golds and pinks on the rest of your face. The next one is the Chanel Rouge Allure in Pirate or Pirate. Did I buy this because it was named Pirate? Yes. I've had a ton of lipsticks on my face and you can tell, so I'm going to show you my trick for if you're reapplying reds or darker lipsticks. Liquid concealer, hide your lips completely with the lipstick on. And then you're going to do like jack-o'-lantern swipes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that is how you make it look less scary. This is a cooler toned, much more traditional, nighttime, fancy red. If you look at their website, it looks like a brick red when it's like swiped down, but when it's on like the model's lips, it looks like a berry. This is really a berry toned lipstick disguised as a red. And when people see it, it looks like a classic red. Um, but it's going to pull in all the good points of an olive skin tone. It's definitely easy to wear with dark skin, dark eyebrows, dark eyes. Lipstick that I have on in the Gal Gadot Superwoman hair tutorial. And like I said, if you want to make this more daytime, I would mix this with Amorous. More plum. And this would make it really nice and vampy and rich. And those are the colors that I think look really, really nice um, with dark hair and dark features, kind of. So that concludes this little adventure. Thank you for the request coming in. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. I really appreciate all of you who do subscribe. Uh, if not, thanks for joining, and have a wonderful rest of your day.